Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. Um, now, I was trying to come up with, um, I had a friend who asked me the other day, uh, what were my favorite things um, that I liked, um, like for nail art. Um, and I was thinking there was quite a few things that when I first started out a few years ago, that um, once I found out about, I was just floored um, that, you know, I could not live without these items. So I was going to kind of go through my top 10 um, items. Now, first off, um, my very first item that I purchased um, when I started doing um, nail art was dotting tools. Now, I got this set um, and I got it from Nail Polish Canada and um, it just, these are probably about um, three years old now. So, um, I just love them. Um, I, that's how I started out. At, at first, I started doing little dots and then flowers, and so that was um, that was my introduction to nail art. So this was my very first item. So um, I love them. I still use them, and I will always still use them. So this was an excellent purchase. Um, my second purchase I got were these are they're a little trashed right now um, I've ordered some new nail brushes but um, nail art brushes so different sizes um, you know to start out with like at first I was really intimidated by these little tiny thin brushes um, now I and like these ones um, oh my god they're scary um, I'm I'm starting to try and use them a whole lot more so my neck so this was my next favorite um, purchase um, now um, clean up brushes now when I first started out I used to use q-tips um, q-tips are great and they, they worked you know like your normal regular q-tip but I found that you know you'd get they, you couldn't get close to your cuticle and sometimes you leave little bits of fuzz and then when I found out about um, cleanup brushes I yeah whole new game changer for me um, so these are the two ones that I usually use um, they're from Walmart I think they're like two something each and there is two different shapes so one's like an angle brush and I think this one, it's called, I'm just trying to read it, it's kind of hard to read. Do, do, do. I don't know, I can't read it, sorry. It's like itty bitty tiny. And then this one, I think this one's a concealer. So these are my two that I started out with. I don't know how many I've gone through. After a while, when the brushes start getting a little fanned out I throw them away and then I had a girlfriend send me this elf concealer brush and look how tiny it is compared to these and um, I think this one has become my new favorite one um, I really like that one so that is my next item that I love um, next item that I got is um, liquid latex um, I would see girls um, purchasing liquid latex um, and then I think I bought uh, one from an indie shop um, and they were quite expensive when they first came out I think I paid like seven dollars for this like itty bitty tiny tube of it and um, it dried up really quickly then I had another one that I won and it just dried up really quickly and and so I was talking to my husband about it and it was close to Halloween. So he took me to the Halloween store and we got these big jugs. I've posted a video on, um, on it. Uh, so if you wanna, I'll, I'll put the link below if you wanna see the bottle, but liquid latex 
is a lifesaver. It saves so much time for cleanup. Um, I was using tape and I tried Vaseline and all, yeah. La liquid latex, love, love, love it. Um, my next item that I absolutely adore is my Sesh Feet, um, my fast drying top coat. I do have a few others that I've tried, um, but I've always come back to uh, to this one. I know it smells a bit, um, but honestly, oh my nail polish does, and it doesn't bother me. Um, I like this one; it works well. I don't have problems with shrinking like some of the girls do. I don't know why. Maybe my body chemistry um, works a little differently. But um, I, when I first started out, my husband bought me this little nail dryer. I don't know if you've seen them. You stick your hand in. Um, I don't think there's a battery in it right now. But you got to sit and press and, you know, dry your nail polish. And it worked, but it's a pain in the butt. So when I found Fast Drying Top Coat, total game changer for me. Um, absolutely love um, fast dry top coat and uh, the Sesh Feet is my favorite. Um, next thing I found was tweezers. Um, I have a couple different varieties, like styles. Um, you know, I think these are my three that I have in my drawer. Um, these ones are square ones. They're great for picking up big stuff. This one's for little tiny stuff that I want like when I'm um, doing around edgings or little gems or that and then this one is my most recent one and um, I love it because I can pick stuff up and look two fingers and it's holding it like I don't have to hold it for it to so this one is my absolute new favorite these two pretty much are my two I like them because this one's really tiny it's good for like stickers and things like that and that for holding um, things so that's my next one now my cotton cloth now I got this um, from Sally's beauty supply and I absolutely love it um, it's great for uh, cleaning off your plates um, there's been times where I've messed up one nail. I'll put acetone on it. I will just clean the one nail so uh, you don't have to mess up the other ones. So this total lifesaver, there's others out there right now that you can get. Or I've seen girls use like um, clothesline um, holders, you know, whatever, or like a strawberry holder or a husker. That's what it's called. But um, my cotton cloth, my absolute favorite, favorite. Now, um, my next favorite thing are clear stampers. Like when I first started out stamping, I had, um, I th I'm sure everybody's had this. This little pinky thing that is hard as rock, that doesn't really work. And then I had this one, and oh, and the square one. Um, so my absolute favorite stamper, now I've just dropped stampers everywhere, is a clear stamper. Um, I have a few different sizes now, which are awesome. Uh, this one is uh, Bundle Monster. It's a mini one, so for picking up little tiny images, uh, medium. And then this one is a Born Pretty Store one. And then this awesome one from Hit the Bottle um, that I got from Lantern and Wren. Isn't it pretty? Like, look at that. And it's a double shot. And it's nice. It's marshmallowy, sticky. So, clear stampers. Totally stepped up my game because I actually gave up stamping because um, I couldn't do it I couldn't pick up anything it didn't work I hated it and um, then I actually won a uh, stamper um, which I don't know where it is at the moment um, on a giveaway and it was a clear stamper 
and it totally changed my world so it um yeah clear stampers um because i just love it because you can see where the image is going it picks them up really well so clear stampers were a total game changer for me and then another thing was a lint roller i know it sounds kind of silly but when you're stamping, it's it's like an absolute lifesaver. I was like trying to rip off tape and things like that. So um, when one of the ladies in one of my stamping groups said, you know, use a lint roller, it was like, what? <laughs> so I went running to the dollar store and, and this one's nice because you can just pull off um, this when you're done and you still keep your handle and you just buy refill packs so it's super cheap I mean I use it until it's like totally full and I actually I don't know if it's the anal thing of me but I've saved the original wrapper and I just sit down on my desk like this with the wrapper around it so it doesn't get dusty so that was and then my last thing is my light box that my husband made for me. Um, I usually, cause I work during the day. Um, and then by the time I come home, I do dishes and like we do dinner and dishes. And then I, I finally do my manis and it's dark. And you know, and right now in Canada, it's winter time. So it's dark at like 4.30. So it's really hard to take pictures. So my husband, um, made me a light box and just I'm gonna pause for a second so I will show you it one moment okay so here is my light box and uh, that my husband made for me so what he's done is he's taken a cardboard box and he's cut out panels so the side the top and this one actually I moved it earlier and I actually have a rip in it now so I will have to replace that and then on this side there's a panel and um, the back as well so he's just cut out the panels with a, out the cardboard box and then replaced it with uh, tissue paper and then I kind of have my little um, thing I made or I have this inside and I guess I should have plugged it in for you to see. Um, see, and you can see up top, it uh, it is a cardboard box. Um, and then he just went to the, we went to the dollar store and he found me this pretty duct tape and then put that on it. And so it just, it looks really pretty. And then um, my husband was into, he's into reptiles and things like that. So we just had this lamp. It's just a normal lamp but you can use whatever lamp so now here I'm gonna just plug it in one sec okay so I plugged it in so now I can take pictures of my manis you know or I can take pictures of bottles whatever I want so now um, you can change the backgrounds or whatever uh, but now when it's dark I can actually take pictures of my manis. So that was, that's been my other lifesaver. Hi there. Okay, so I'm back. Um, anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of share with you a few items that um, I actually can't live without now that I found out about them. Um, out of my top ones, I would probably these, I don't know, I can't choose. These are all wonderful in their own way. Um, and yeah, it it's helped improve my nail art. And um, I just wanted to let you know that. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Or if you have any I um, other tips of or items that you like that um, you can't live without um, I would love to hear them um, I'm always up for learning new things um, and I'm also I like to try and share my knowledge as well because other ladies have helped me 
and uh, so I like to try and do the same as well. Anyway, um, I hope you're having a good day, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.